I started out just going to doctors trying to figure out what's wrong and they just kept saying that they're doubtful because it's about to tear so I just figured since senior year I might as well just play till something happens. The doctor said you can play till it goes and uh, so he's going to give it his best shot and you know the thing is is he possibly might it might go uh, walking down the hallway at school but uh, you know he's he's icing it every night and he's, he's doing the things right and hopefully uh, we're going to get a year out of him. After sitting out McComb's first two games in medical limbo, Max Ford returned with a vengeance on Friday night in Warsaw, delivering a pair of key quarterback sacks on back-to-back -back plays, no less, that disrupted the tempo of a West Hancock offense that had already jumped out to a 12 to nothing lead on the scoreboard. Going from staying in there and just cheering to playing is a huge difference. I mean, everyone knows that, but there's no better feeling than playing instead of staying and out being able to have another athlete that that we can play at two or three different positions you know and and uh, just add a little bit more depth to the lineup and he came through with two big sacks and you know against these against the teams that throw the throw the ball a lot we're going to go ahead and let him play some dn and, and kind of move him around and mainly you know maybe he's that utility player that we need during the game i just try not to think about it get adrenaline going and just go from there usually doesn't bug me as mad until after the game as if sparked by Ford's contributions, the Bombers pulled themselves out of a tight spot in Warsaw by doing the things that good teams do. Well, you know, the, the big thing is, is we knew that they were going to create a lot of problems for us going into the ball game. And, uh, you know, the thing is, you just can't, you can't, can't run scared. You know, we got down 12 to nothing and we regrouped and uh, made some adjustments at halftime and came out and uh, the kids responded. I think it's great that I mean, we're 3-0 and right now and we still have a whole lot to work on. A good offense is always a good defense and, and right now we're taking minutes off the clock you know with our offense we're having great drives we're having 15 and 20 play drives and you know we're going 80 and 90 yards and taking a lot of time off the clock and, and that keeps the defense off the field and keeps the opponents offense off the field. I don't, I don't want to say it's luck that we won these games but it was definitely because we were more physical and we were uh, better athletes. You know that that's the big thing is a lot of people are like uh, well you're 3-0 and, oh, and, and and in my mind and I tell the kids this every day we have not played well yet you know we've had turnovers we've had penalties and we need to we need to play a game to put everything all together and uh, you know hopefully that's going to be this Friday night.